Turn on the compass by holding the rear power button for two seconds and powering the tablet by pressing the power button in the top left corner. Remove the lens cap. Upon initial boot up, the compass tablet will display the login screen. The default password is DOC, D-O-C. Once entered, the compass button will appear on the tablet. Press the compass button to enter the patient list. Either search for a patient by pressing the search icon or enter a new patient by pressing the new patient icon in the top right corner of the display. Given name, surname, and date of birth are required fields. The compass will compare results to normative data from patients of the same age. It is not necessary to enter refraction data or use a trial lens due to the autofocusing and the projection system of the compass. The compass will autofocus between minus 12 diopters and plus 15 diopters. Once the patient information is saved by pressing the OK button, the operator will select the type of exam to be performed by pressing the New Exam button the test options are visual field, supra-threshold, fundus, or fundus stereo. Select the eye to be tested, OD or OS, as well as the threshold strategy when selecting the visual field test. Select the exam pattern, 24-2, 30-2, or 10-2. Provide the patient with the patient response button. It is now time to properly position the patient. Be sure to place their chin forward in the chin rest and their forehead all the way forward into the head rest. The chin rest height is adjusted using the up-down buttons on the tablet. Align the center of the patient's pupil to the etching in the head rest. It is important to adjust both the table height and possibly the chair height, if necessary, to ensure patient comfort. Once properly positioned, instruct the patient on how to properly respond to the selected test. For a visual field, it is important for the patient to fixate on the green internal target and to press the patient response button when seeing a small white flash, or if they think they saw a white flash. Press the play icon on the tablet to initiate the auto alignment and auto focusing. Once in focus, the compass will capture the reference infrared image for fundus tracking. It is important to capture a quality image for tracking and to retake the image if necessary. Drag and center circle over the patient's optic disc. Then click the forward arrow. This step is used for blind spot testing. Instruct the patient to look steadily at the green fixation target for 10 seconds. Next, the compass will test the patient's foveal response by presenting four fixation targets while thresholding one single point in the center of the targets. The visual field pattern will now be presented. During the test, the results can be monitored to ensure the highest quality by reviewing the false negative, false positive, and blind spot responses as they occur. The green circle surrounding the live infrared image ensures the compass is compensating for fixation losses and adjusting the projection of the pattern. Patient pupil size should be 3 millimeters or greater for best results. Upon completion of the exam, the operator will be prompted to capture a color image of the patient's retina. If necessary, press the back button to retake the color image. Once the color image is captured, this will complete the exam for the selected eye and the results will be automatically saved.